Hi there. So, are you feeling stuck in certain areas of your ministry? Um, are you feeling uh, like you know you, you you used to do something, or you used to be very proficient in a certain area of your ministry, of your work or life in general, but like you've kind of stagnated in that area, and or maybe you are not doing certain things, you know, that you know that the Lord called you to, right? Well, then this video is for you because I believe I have something, a message which specifically God gave me through a dream. And I just want to share it because I think that there may be somebody out there who also uh, is in that kind of predicament and, you know, don't know what to do or where to go. OK, so if that's that kind of person or this, if that's where you are, this video is for you. All right. So anyway, it goes like this. I, I the Lord gave me a, a dream. And in this dream, uh, this was just a few days ago. And in the dream, so someone who is a, who is, I would say, an authority figure in my life, right, uh, just came with, with a few people, a couple of people, and basically said, hey, Solomon, let's, let's go. Let's go and fix a problem. Let's go and fix it. It was like a fire. I don't mean physical fire. Like we're going to put out a fire, like a problem and we need to go fix it. Right. It was very urgent and he said, let's go. And he, but he said something specific. He said, go and get, bring your greatest weapon. He said greatest weapon. And I immediately knew a specific tool. Okay. To, that I needed to pick up and, but he used he used the word weapon okay it's amazing how God communicates things so just track with me so anyway he said and I, I was like oh and I realized oh wait I had put that weapon that tool somewhere like with somebody so I was like oh no I have to go I said oh let me go and get it so I, I, I had to run to this place so all this while this urgent thing that needed to be fixed you know is waiting just because I had to go find it right so I, I just had to run I ran and got to this place it was like some house of an old friend or something like a place like that when I got there somebody that I knew in in my past had come with his car and was also coming to borrow my greatest weapon from, you know, where the friend I had given it to. And he had picked, pretty much my friend had given this old friend from my past, my, my greatest weapon. And he had put it in the trunk of his car. And he was like, I was like, hey, I, I need my tool back. But he was like, add up and he was like, no, he's got it. He went to put it in his trunk. He's not giving it to me, basically, is it's, it's what he was communicating. And I was like, wait, hello. This, you know, I was thinking, wait, hello. This is mine, right? <laughs> so who has a priority to use it? Me. But so all these things were delaying me, right? It, it's the, the call for me to go and use this to help solve a problem, all these things were stopping and delaying me from doing what the Lord is calling me to do. So that was the gist of the dream. And you know, some of you out there who really are good at dream interpretation, maybe you've got you've got the script already or you are getting it. So I'm going to give you, and I was asking the Lord, what's the meaning of this? Like I, I, and I'm, I've got, it's a simple dream. It's a very simple dream, but really packed with information. That's what I see. And I hope you're getting it too. And I see one thing. So somebody being an authority figure is in this dream to me, representing the Lord, the Lord, you know, calling on me and he called on me to use a tool he's giving me, a power, a certain authority, a certain thing, a, a certain 
tool which makes me proficient in a certain specific area right he has given it to me and he's calling on me out of the blue to go use it in an emergency situation right but for whatever reason i had this gift this tool this authority this power that he gave me i had kind of put almost like i had put it in storage basically with someone right and so th this person that I, I i kept with in his house wasn't using it so my soul that he was lending it to somebody else from my past that also speaks volumes and i won't go into details more details but it speaks volumes when you know somebody from your past and that this person when i needed it the thing is mine when i needed it didn't want to give it to me <laughs> think about it like he was fighting me uh he didn't want to give it to me and you know overriding the fact that it's actually mine and i have priority you know over it it, it didn't matter to him but what's interesting too is the fact that he went and put it in his the, the trunk of his car for me generically speaking vehicles or cars and stuff in dreams tend to represent like a ministry um assignment that god has given you right that takes you from one place to another that kind of thing right and what's what's so interesting within this is how the lord used the fact that this other person from my past had picked this tool and went and put it in the trunk of his car that also you know speaking along the same theme it is he's not even going to use it at the forefront of his ministry or whatever he has his assignment is but rather he's going to be using it you know it's, it's like relegated to the trunks the background he's not really even going to be actively using it all the while keeping it keeping me from using what is actually mine what the Lord has given me and the Lord is calling upon me to go use to help his kingdom I, are you following are you tracking with me I hope you are so why am I sharing I think the Lord is showing so many things personally at least for me but I hope some ways you you know it resonates with you or you will find if you find yourself in that area I think the Lord is kind of telling me that Solomon look I've given you this tool I've given you this authority this capability and I have to really sit down and allow the Lord to really show me what specific areas that this is really very relevant and the same goes for you okay like how in what area have you or have you slagged and maybe pushed what the Lord has given you and given it to others and even those people are not even using it you see that's 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 what's sad about it those people may not even value it and it's your greatest tool greatest weapon the Lord specifically said go get your greatest weapon and let's go let's go do solve this problem and here I was scrambling to go and get it and others whom i thought i was maybe using the tool to help are now not wanting to even give it back to me think about it so friend i just want to encourage you one one of the beautiful things about walking with the lord is he's so gracious and he's so loving that he shows us if if you ask him he, he, he will continue to all show you where you are he, he will show you son daughter th this is where you are i want you to he, he has ways of just prompting us and pulling us along and waking us up and saying hey let's go let's go look you don't know when i'm going to call upon you and uh so if, if you find yourself in that area i'm sharing this friend if you find yourself in that area i think there are many people like me who may find themselves in that area and i'm saying I believe the Lord is calling you to to wake up how do you how do you wake up find pray and ask the Holy Spirit to let you identify 
what specific thing you you know thing or things that he's he gave you but you've kind of put aside or given someone sometimes you might even think that putting us that, that putting aside may have been in good faith and in you know you're trying to help others or whatever but remember the lord gave it to you you not others he gave it to you that means there will come a time out of the blue where he will call on you to use that which he gave you you know to fix something or solve a problem in the kingdom you know will you be ready i think that is what he's he's, he's highlighting in this dream will you be ready so it's it's better we get ready it's better we are on task we are, it's better we are we are you see be, be, in order for you to become proficient at using a tool you must be using the tool right if you don't use the tool you may be good at it at some point but you you kind of slacking up and you don't you know you're not as proficient in using it you become rusty as people we'll call it right so friend i hope this encourages you and blesses you in a way that makes you wake up and say look i gotta get up and and and, and identify what it is that i have to do and just run with it okay begin to wake up because you don't know when the lord will call upon you to use what he has given you all right so i'm going to end with a prayer for myself and for you that the lord will will wake us up and um he is always so gracious he gives us the grace he points things out to us he lovingly shows you and then he also gives you the grace to get up don't think you have to do it in your own strength he he will give you the grace to get up to wake up to just you know begin to do what he's called you to do or what he's given you begin to use what he's giving you to use so let's pray Abba Father, I thank you for your love. You are so loving, wonderful Jesus. You are so loving. You are so amazing. Uh, the ways in which you communicate to and with us. So I thank you and I, I worship you. I thank you for what you've shown me. And I thank you for what you're showing and bringing to the mind of this friend who is watching. I pray and I ask that you will just continue to graciously just guide us strengthen us and lead us and 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 fire us up to to begin to go back to that the things that you've given us which you've we've kind of put down or given to others to go back to them and 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 rekindle that fire and and just begin to use it so we are ready for whatever assignment you have in store for us Father, thank you that you hear us. Your word says that even before we call, you will answer. Wow, what an amazing promise. So I thank you that you've already answered. And I praise you for this. Father, thank you. Continue to open our eyes and give us revelation. And give us the grace to run with that revelation. In Jesus' name, amen. Friend, I hope this blessed you. If you did, share it, like it, and subscribe if you haven't. Alright? Blessings to you. Peace.